and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a dotted outline. Let me create a circle and hold, and I'll hold control when I drag that. And I want to have a second one. This is going to be the small one. And we're going to use this as the dot. So make it as big as you need to have it in relation to the big one, which is going to be the path. Select both. So really make sure that the big and the small one are selected. Go to path and object to path. Go to extensions, generate from path and we need to scatter. Just check the live preview. And it's great that this happens. I just made a mistake and I wanted to explain that anyway. So this mistake reminds me. Let me show you why this happened and not what I intended to have happened. I'll close this without applying it. I only select the small one. So you can put that to the bottom and when you select both, turn that into path, generate from path scatter, you will have the big object scattered around the small one and we want to have it the other way around. So you have to have the small one raised to the top and the big one. So the one you want to have it scattered around should be at the bottom. So if I check live preview now, we can see the small circle is now scattered around the big one and this is our outline. I'll just apply it and now I can select the circle and delete it. We don't need that anymore. And here's our dotted outline that has the same path as the big circle. You can use the same method, for example, for rectangles, but basically for any shape. Make sure once again that the small one under object is raised to the top. Let me get rid of the fill here and add a stroke. So the rectangle only has a stroke color. I'll select both, go to path and object to path. Then extensions, generate from path and scatter. I'll check the live preview. And what I always check is this one, stretch spaces to fit skeleton length. You can uncheck it and watch if it gives you better results. But most often I want to have it checked. The spacing between the copies is just the space between two dots. So if I cut that in half, you can see they come closer to each other. And there are more circles scattered around the path or more copies made. And if you set that to zero, they touch each other. You could also offset these circles, but the spacing should be the most important here. So when you've got what you want, just press apply. And again, we can delete the direct angle. You can still transform that resize it and this is how you can create a dotted outline in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.